this. Welcome back to another edition of Living Simply Fun. This is our second cigar review tonight. Tonight we'll be reviewing the Asylum 13 Straight Jacket. Personally, I And if you love... can't tell, that's a guy wearing a straight jacket and it's got this ruby coloring down the button side. Uh, it's a rather interesting band. A lot of people say this band screams that this is bold. Uh, to me, it actually looks like a cheap cigar from it. And, uh, like in the dollar bin. <laughs> um, if it was a dollar bin, i But this is a $9 it. smoke. It was actually the first limited edition cigar from Asylum. Where um, do you think you're going, Moppy Check? The uh, mm -hmm. Asylum Straight Jacket is mm -hmm. uh, hand rolled at the El Aladino factory in Honduras, which is owned by uh, Fabrica United, mm -hmm. which is Tom Lazuka's um, uh, company. And uh, Tom Lazuka and uh, Christian Iroa mm -hmm. together. Uh, are the ones who blended this. Um, mm -hmm. um, and um, this is a Nicaraguan Puro, Nicaraguan wrapper, binder, fillers. Um, I love when you see something that says Honduran or Nicaraguan or Dominican Republic Puros. It just means it is totally awesome. I could find nothing further about the tobaccos, like what strains they are or anything like that. So this is just essentially generic Nicaraguan tobaccos. Uh, as far as I can tell, aged at various degrees. It is a very dark wrapper, but there's a lot of knots in it. Um, some uneven spots, bulges. Yeah. Uh, it's not exactly a very <laughs> pretty you stick. You said this is a... A Nicaraguan? Yes. Is this it, it's a, rolled in Honduras, but it's all Nicaraguan tobaccos. Is this a Maduro leaf? Um, it's a Nicaraguan leaf. They did not say the type of leaf. It just said the wrapper is Nicaraguan. So, without I further ado, I would like to try test. a Ogre Barber Pole 6x80. The 80 ring gauge has got my, you know, this, attention. This has very strong sense of earth and the cocoa coming off of it. Uh, the cocoa is mild, but the is earth it, is, uh, is very strong. Is it a baker's cocoa or a... Oh, it's like a sweet chocolate, in my thought. But it's a very gentle hint of it. I'm going to say, because I had to ask him and I keep sniffing it, I think it is a, a uh, white chocolate, Aaron. The well, white cocoa. Definitely on a dry puff, it tastes of chocolatey. Time to fire oh, it yeah, up. Oh, yeah, this tastes like a white chocolate bar. Time to fire it up. So let's kick the tires and light the fires, Big Daddy. And we're starting this at 650. I assume you're going to take care of it. Yeah. You have time, maybe you should call it. I will. Oh, and they do say that this is among the fullest of fullest bodied cigars. Well, um, I'll be the judge I'm of that. I'm going to be the judge, too, because as you all know, I think it was the D5, right, uh, Aaron? Mm -hmm. That I said, do not smoke it unless you have a full tummy. And by the way, just for some of you out there, there's two things I want to share with you, and I will bring it up once more in the video, is, you ready for this, is... Uh, always have a full meal with these full-bodied cigars. I had mac and cheese and uh, mac and cheese with hot dogs, but I just want to say I tried an experiment. I put mac and cheese on my hot dogs in the bun. Turned out very good. So if you have never tried it, you can always get your kids probably to eat it that way. It's very tasty. Second thing is, is an error needed to bring this up. We will bring it up. It's probably an update before long. But I only have two more weeks from today. To smoke cigars. Yep, and then we're gonna. She's gonna be on hiatus. I might return to a few sticks that we smoked in the past and didn't do a video with a live cigar. So, 
Uh, that's pretty no, much the plan. For right all now. of you out there, Aaron, how long after my surgery can I smoke it? Three uh, weeks? Probably ago? another two weeks to three. So it'll be about six weeks without me smoking them. So my humidor will be probably restocked, ready to So roll. don't be surprised if we take a bit of a break and have lesser vi uh, less videos come up. Um, but we will try to, I, well, I'll try to make a few, uh, while she's out, but, uh, probably not with her present because I don't want to make her jealous that I'm smoking and she can't. Mm -mm. It'll be fine because, you know, I, I don't mind if he's smoking because I'm realizing I'm getting to the goal of my goals, which means I have to sacrifice just a little bit. So if he wants to do it, he can do it here. We have a better camera anyway, so. This is very kind of cedary cocoa. I mean, like, straight cocoa. Like, the powdered stuff. Um, the stuff you get from Nesquik or uh, Yahoo. Yoo-hoo. No, I was thinking more uh, the baker's chocolate that's powdered in a can. Uh, used for, like, mixing, like, chocolate pie. Uh, it's one thing I you can use it for. It. Or chocolate pudding. Uh, but it, it's a baker's style. This is quite quite a unique smoke so far. And I know there's a couple people out there that subscribe to our channel that watches this that are always asking about um, um, cigar advice about do this or do that with your lighter. Just so you know, this wasn't striking. I just wanted to tell you, if you get one of these and it ain't striking, crank up it to the plus sign to the full part. And she will strike just fine. Don't Except for mine, which is the same lighter and won't strike unless I use a flame to light it. It's like the electric piece that sparks just does not catch. <laughs> but I know the quirks of this lighter and I'm fine with it. Especially since it's one of my favorite types of lighters to light with. I've tried four flame, I've tried two flame, I hate them. Uh, I tried, uh... You don't have it here, do you? Four flame? No. Oh, yeah, it's here. It lights. Um, no, I don't want it to light. See? Four flame. Uh, now it's it gotta be played light. with, you know, in the settings. But even if you get it to work, the four flame... It was just burns working. A lot of fuel. But, yeah, it burns way, way too much fuel, and I'd go through a can a week with that thing. So... And it overscorches the lighter uh, cigar, I think. It, I just do not like it. Um, it's good if you're someone like me that's blind. I've gotten quite a few Zycar lighters. I don't like them because I can't tell if they're full of fluid. And you have to play with the adjuster. And the adjuster usually takes tools to adjust. And I just don't like them. What because about Calibri? Calibri is pretty much the same. And unless I can see the fuel level... Like I can in these. This one's almost too dark, but I can see it if it's got a light in the this background. This one here stutters at times. That one, for some reason, I can fill just fine though. Uh, but I never know if it's full. It, it doesn't have an indicator. And I, I wish that the lighter companies would start to understand to give an indicator so that you can tell if it's full or not. And make it so that they have a slightly better striker on some of these. Um... But, you know, that's all relative and not really part of this cigar. Uh, for those who do not know, I am a huge fan of Krishna Iroa's cigars. I've yet to have one that's a real disappointment to me, other than the Camacho Barrel Age, which I just, I, I kind of found the cigar vomitous. Anyways. But, uh, anyways, we will get back to you as we get to the halfway point. And see you then. Stay tuned and smoke them if you got them. Welcome back to part two of the uh, Asylum 13 Straight Jacket uh, review. I'm having some problems with the outer wrapper. It just keeps flaking apart on me in little pieces. But otherwise, it's been a very pleasant cigar. Uh, from all the sites I read trying to figure out any info I could about the tobaccos in this, every site I read said that this is among the boldest of bold cigars. This is a full-body cigar. No. No, it's not. I'm sorry. Whoever's saying this is full body, this is not full body. Are you body. sure it isn't Cigar Aficionado? No, oh, cigar, cigar Aficionado called it full. Puff.com called it full. CI called it full. Cigar.com called it full. 
Famous Smoke called it full. Every company, every review has said this is a full-bodied smoke. I beg to differ. This might be what I would consider uh, medium to full-bodied, but it's very smooth. The flavors are extremely mellow. They blend very well together. It's uh, a, a rather earthy smoke uh, with uh, pepper and spice in it, and it's got hints of chocolate in it. And I think the marriage of the flavors is very unique, very good to this point. And what it's, was it you said? Hints of chocolate and pepper? Mm -hmm. Chocolate and pepper and earth as the primaries. Now, I do pick up some coffee flavoring, too. Yeah, I was just going to say, I agree and with spice. it. And spice. And spice, exactly. Now, th this is a very nice cigar. It's not heavily uh, a heavy smoke. It's not nicotine rich, not like that last one. Honestly, the last cigar that we reviewed, the uh, Rocky Patel Old World Reserve uh, Lance, Maduro Lancero. That's that, a full mouth. Yes, you've said that. This is the third time it's been said. Uh, that was a two-hour smoke for me for a Lancero, and I actually got a nicotine buzz from that and was lightheaded trying to cook dinner. Um, and so this, this doesn't really hold a candle to the strength of that. And so I just can't say that this is a full-bodied smoke. It's something I'm definitely going to have to agree, disagree with. With I do want to say the only air I got an air can see it is my wrapper cracked in the back. Yeah, this Near one, where you cut. It was a little dry. Now, that's for sure. The, this was not very well humidified uh, from Famous. Uh, Are you sure my humidifier is working? Yes. Um, but anyways, well, this one cracked too. So, And one was kept in one humidifier, one in another one. Mine's kept at 70, yours is kept at a, a little higher than that. 75, is it, or 77? Se 77, I think, which is kind of high, but... Uh, if it was high, it'd be overly moist, not dry. So, anyways, um, to me, this is just a very nice cigar so far. Rita, what do you have to say about it? Well, since we're on the second part of this video, I have to agree completely. This is a very nice cigar, no complaints. Uh, besides, it smokes really good, very smooth, easy to fix. I've had very little fixes on this cigar. Yeah, I'm only having my second fix. Yeah, I've had probably three fixes, but that's only because, you know. See, I'm coming apart here and here. Yeah, I see that. But so. you're split worse than I am. But I'd never throw out a cigar just because it's split. I've I've had big puffy where the entire band's coming loose and the wrapper's falling off. and Still I smokable, a, so. I smoked a cigar once from Thompson. Well, the entire outer re leaf came out, you know, the main one, and it just came out with the inner leaf, and then you can see the tobacco. Well, that happened I, I to me with that. the cigar fairly recently. I had no wrapper left. I just smoked a bare binder. Mm -hmm. uh, and by the end of it, the, uh, when I was down to the final inch or so, uh, the binder started puffing, and it became like that uh, 70 ring gauge from what was supposed to be a 50. Uh, and I was still sitting there. <laughs> Trying to take a puff of it because I wasn't done with it yet, and it, it was good enough that it didn't bother me. Uh, even though that was one of the worst problems I've had with a cigar in a while. Uh, but you know, this is what I've come to expect from Christian Iroa uh, and uh, Asylum Cigars and Tam Tom Laz. I hate to butcher the name, uh, Lazuka. Uh, th this cigar is a very nice piece of artwork, in my opinion. It's yet another winner with Asylum Cigars, so um, I, I'm enjoying it. Oh, yeah, exactly. I'm and, totally And if you didn't catch me things. earlier saying it, it is the first limited edition cigar that came out, so these will disappear from the market eventually. Um, but right now it seems every place is pretty well stocked on them, so... And this would go very well with that Dragon's Milk we had the other day. Oh, yeah, the dragon Different milk. flavors. That one was floral. This one is, you know, mostly earthy spice. But like we cocoa. said, every cigar tastes different. You can't get the same cigar. If every cigar was the same, then you just sell one cigar. So instead, you get all these different cigars with different flavors. 
for different palettes for different people. Some people, you know, like Gurkhas, other Carlos Torranos, others. Well, I like, Bo I like Boulder cigars. The more full flavor, usually the more pepper lingers in the mouth. And to me, I don't classify that as pepper so much as just a full strength. Uh, I'm going to say strength. a cigar like this, this is mild. In my opinion, this is straight out mild. I, I would actually say this is more on a medium ground. I've, well, I've had well, much fuller bodied cigars. Yes, well, I'm just saying mild from my own palate. So. Sometimes I really, really wonder about who writes up these reviews and stuff. Uh, but, you know, when a cigar company is trying to sell a cigar, I would think that they'd want to sell it as straightforward as it is and not do any false advertising. So I would expect it to be medium if they say it's medium, not to end up buying something that's full and finding out it's medium. But, you know, that's just a minor gripe. Regardless, the cigar is fantastic to this point. And you might think it is horribly full-bodied, and to me this is medium-bodied. Mild. And she says mild. <laughs> Anyways, we will get back to you in the final third of this. Hello, and welcome back to the final third of this Asylum Straight Jacket. This cigar has been just amazing in flavor. And it has know. never gotten as full as I expected it to. This has stayed very medium to medium full um, with very nice flavors. It is definitely a flav full flavored cigar with a lot of different uh, flavors going on. The primary flavors are definitely earth and uh, slight nuttiness, particularly in the smoke as I breathe it in. Some mild oak taste in there with some spice and cocoa. Um, it's a cigar that I've very thoroughly enjoyed. The one problem I have with it is I have had some construction issues with the wrapper being thin enough that it just cracks. And uh, so it's a very thin wrapper on this. And the wrapper is a little dry, even though it's been humidified properly for, well, at least three weeks for mine and Rita's. So, And we don't know how long they were humidified at Famous and whether Famous had their humidifiers right. I'd expect them to. Um, but... Other than that, this cigar has been a fantastic cigar. I definitely recommend it. It, it is, in my opinion, uh, a very good cigar from Iroa. Um, you didn't say how in the video how much is it? About stick? nine dollars a stick, which I think is about the right price. Even though this band, in my opinion, looks like the band you'd find on a dollar cheapy. It it really. If, unless you're paying attention, you won't even see that it's a straight jacket. It's just got black and white bars with a guy with folded arms. Uh, I've seen some really nice cheap bands on cheap cigars. That There's one that's got a, like a flamenco dancer on the front. Very elegantly done. Cheap cigar. This one, this band is unimpressive, in my opinion. The band is very unimpressive. And I usually like bands. And this, this is a unique band, but it's unimpressive. That's what I just said. It's unimpressive, but for the price point, it's very good. Uh, would you highly recommend it? Yes, I would. This is definitely worth the money. So, and there you have it for me. This is another Asylum that I would thoroughly recommend. I know that I recommend the Asylum 13. I've recommended the Asylum uh, um, uh, Ogre Barber Pole. Oh, yes. I was going to say, if anyone's watching our channel and wants to donate some 6x80s or 7x70 Ogre Barber Poles for review, please uh, She just wants to smoke us. a giant cigar. That's all. She wants to utilize our 80 ring gauge cutter to its fullest. Um, okay. And I've also recommended the Asylum Dragon Smoke. So, oh, yes. The Asylum Dragon's Milk is worth it if you can get it at a di g good price. Now, if you have lots of money and you want to plunk down a box, go for it. Or even just and, a single stick. And on the budget end, I recommended the Schizo, which was absolutely fantastic. So Agreed. The Schizo is an awesome cigar by Asylum. And, the, you know, so far, in my opinion... Um, Asylum's up there in my top ten favorite companies. Easily, and we're talking about trying to do a top ten list this year. 
and so far I've got to include the straight jacket in with the dragon. Are you sure we ha can do, do that? We might have to increase it to a top 25. Well, we might just have to because that San Cristobal also is going in our list, and same with that Liga Pravada. Uh, even though it sounded like we were negative towards the Liga Pravada, we were actually negative towards the, the Liga Pravada rather than the Papa Fritas. The Papa Fritas are actually within a good price range, but the Liga Pravadas, if they tasted very similar to the Papa Fritas, I didn't think they'd be worth their money. So I was kind of saying I would not pay $19 for a stick of the Liga Pravada itself, but I would gladly buy the Papa Fritas again. There would be points that I would see it applicable uh, to get a pack, but uh, it, it is a cigar that I find a little costly for myself still. For exactly. That's smoke. the thing with me. It's, it's very costly. So even though I enjoyed it and I'd recommend it, it's just on the price point, I don't. You know, and I'm really scared of trying the larger size because, well, if that's how the larger size tastes, it's not worth the money. But at the money of the Papa Fritas, that's a very good deal. So, uh, anyways, I think I left some confusion in that in that video. There you have it. Please add and subscribe if you like. Please post comments, leave feedback, suggestions, and, and enjoy, enjoy every, every puff. puff.